Hi parents, this is Mr. Pransky, and I wanted to put this video together for you to help you learn some of the tips and tricks on how to use a product that's called Renaissance Home Connect. Renaissance Home, Pre Home Connect goes with our Renaissance products that we use at school, which are Accelerated Reader, which is, we call AR, uh, Accelerated Math, which we call AM, and then Math Facts in a Flash. And uh, Renaissance Home Connect is a way that you can uh, kind of follow with what's, go what's going on with your child's learning at school in those products that we're using. And it also, in some cases, might be useful to help your child with some of those areas in reading and math. So I'm going to show you how first to get logged into Home Connect. To log into Home Connect, I'd recommend going to our team website, which is teamminecraft.blogspot.com. And at the top of our team website, there's a link called ARAM Home Connect. If you click that, that will take you to this site, like this. And this is the login for the site. Uh, the login is pretty simple. Uh, it's the last name of the student, underscore, first name of the student for the username, and then the password is your child's six-digit lunch code. Now, the nice thing about this username and password is it's the same as what your child uses for AR. So your child has likely taken dozens and dozens of AR tests over the year, so they put this password in and username a lot, so they're pretty familiar with it. So I'm going to log in with one of my students just to show you what it looks like with some of the information in there. I recommend you maybe save the password at home so it's easy to get in when you want to. All right, so this is what it looks like when you first enter Home Connect. And I'm going to kind of gloss over a few of the obvious things and try to point out some of the things that you may not uh, be able to find right away. I think probably the most important thing to show you here is this button right here at the top, which is called Email Setup. Now, if you uh, log in with the email set up and put your email in there, um, it will send you an email saying, are you sure you want to receive information? And you should say, return that and say, yes, confirm. I, I do want to receive that information. And what it'll do is it'll send you reports about your child's progress in AR, AM, and MathX in a flash every day as they do things. So if they take an AR test, you're going to get a report. You're going to know if they got 9 out of 10 or a 2 out of 10. Um, in Accelerated Math, you're going to know how many objectives they mastered. Uh, in, a, in Math X in a Flash, you're going to learn when they master a level. So it's really, really handy for just keeping up on what your child's doing. And when they come home from school, you can kind of talk to them about it and let them know, uh, you know, be, become a talking point for you around the dinner table or whatever. Okay? So I highly, highly recommend you sign up with your email there. So I'm going to go back to the main page. Uh, you'll see there's two tabs, reading and math. So this is all of the AR information, which is tabbed right here. And you can see how your child is doing on AR quizzes uh, through this site. It tells you percentages they're getting right, how many points they've earned, and then their average book level. Uh, the thing I want to point out to you here is right here. This is kind of small and gray right below their points. It has their percentage of their goal. Now, sometimes this is hard for parents to understand how we use AR, so I'll try to explain it to you. Basically, what we do is we uh, assign a goal for every child that is individualized. So if your child is a really strong reader, they're probably going to have a really high goal. If uh, your child is a weaker reader, they may have a lower goal. It just depends on what they're able to do. So each child has their own goal, and then we take that point goal, which is shown here in this student's as 24, and we break that down over the quarter. So the quarter is about uh, nine weeks, typically. So what we say is each week, your child should earn about 11% of their goal, because 11 times nine weeks is about 99, about 100% of their goal. So we're in the second week of the school year now, and we expect students to be at about 22% of their goal. So this student is doing a really nice job. They're at 44%. They're almost twice of where they need to be to be on pace to get to their goal points. Okay, So that's sort of how that works. So this is a great place if you're wondering, where is my child? Are they at their goal or not at their goal? You can go here anytime and keep up on that. There's also some neat features here. They have um, you know, the books that they've recently read, uh, percent they got right, how many points it was worth, and then you can click in here to uh, view my bookshelf, which allows you to see all the books your child has read, so you can kind of keep up on that. And then 
Uh, down at the bottom, there's AR Book Finder, which if you click to click there, it'll allow you to look up books. So if you have books at home, and you're like wondering, is this an AR book? Is it at my child's level? Is it, how many points is it worth? It will answer all those questions for you. Just click on that, type in the name of the book, and it'll look it up for you. And you'll be amazed how many books are in there. Thousands and thousands and thousands. Almost all, all the books you can buy these days are in there somewhere. All right, so let's go ahead and hop over to the math stuff now. Over on the math tab, you see we have two tabs below, Accelerated Math and Math Max in a Flash. So let's talk about accelerated math first. We're going to use this quite a bit. Uh, I would say definitely weekly. And this will give you all kinds of data, kind of like the AR does, about how they're doing on tests and how many objectives have been mastered so far. It lists objectives uh, that you've been, the child has been tested over and if they, how they've been doing on them. The student hasn't missed any, so there's, they all look good. And then over on the right side, this is some handy stuff here. It says work online. So let's click that. If I click on it, I see this screen. And on this screen, what the child can do is they can actually score or if they want to reprint a practice that they have. So if I click on this, you see we get like a, a bubble sheet that when they take their accelerated math home, they could actually go in here and click all these answers and then have it score it. Um, thing to remember about this is if you scored at home, which I do allow you to do that if you want to, you have to print the report. Um, otherwise, I can't really know how the child did on it when they bring it into school the next day. So if you do score it at home, feel free, that's fine, but print out the report, staple it to the practice, and then when they turn in their homework the next day, already I'm going to know how, how well they understood it. Now. What would a child do if they left their accelerated math at home? Oh, that's never happened. No, I'm just being sarcastic. It's happened a lot. So if your child leaves their folder at school or their dog eats it or they're abducted by aliens on the way home and they take their book bag for research, whatever it might be, then they have a great thing here. You can actually reprint the assignment. So if you click on that, you can click reprint and then view assignment and voila, it will print a file that has uh, your child's homework or assignment, the AM practice that they have to do, okay? So no more excuses on that. They have to get it, get it turned in on time, all right? So I'm gonna exit this and I'll go back to the main math page here again. And a couple other things that you can look at here. Um, I'll go back actually in here a second. Forgot to point this out. So progress. This gives data on how your child is doing on objectives. There's 110 objectives that they're gonna work on mastering this year, and so far the student has mastered five. So as we work through, that number will go up. Resources, this is handy. If you're at home with your child and they're doing their homework and you're like, uh, I don't know how to help them with this. I'm not sure how, how we're supposed to solve this. You can actually go in, into under resources and you can pick an objective that your child might be having trouble with, like let's say it's determining the word form of a whole number or something like that. And you can click this little plus sign and then it has both a math glossary, so it's kind of like a dictionary here of these terms, in case you don't know it. And then there's what's called a worked example. So if you're not sure how to work a problem like that, you can click it and it will you know, talk to you step by step about how to solve a problem like that. It's kind of like having access to your textbook or whatever about a particular set of skills at a time. So it's pretty handy. Okay, um, so let's go back and let's actually go back to Home Connect and I'll show you a Math Facts in a Flash. So Math Facts in a Flash, this tab here, allows you again to see how is your child doing on their math facts you know kids are going to be moving through addition subtraction multiplication division at some point they can you can go in and see how they're doing on the last test the student got 40 out of 40 and they did it in one minute 46 seconds that's awesome they have to be um, under two minutes to meet their goal in most cases unless i've changed their goal for them okay you can click under here and do view goals or you know view levels mastered the student has mastered these goals and then Another great feature right here, practice my math facts. If you click here 
And then a lot of times you're going to get this message saying that make sure you have pop-ups turned off. So, you know, that's something to go in your browser and make sure that's turned off. Uh, I do have it turned off so I can click start. And then it's a little bit off the screen here, but it should pop up with um, levels that your child can do in FX and Flash. So let's say your child is working on subtraction. You can do subtraction review. You can click practice. And then your child can click in here, and just like they do at school, they can you know, do the problems. So I don't know if I could talk and do these at the same time, but I think I can. All right, so it will, it's just like what they're going to get tested on at school. And this can be done on a tablet. It can be done, on a, I think it can be done on smaller devices like iPods and iPads too. So uh, that might be something cool to practice. Okay. So that's basically all I wanted to show you. I hope you found something in this video that was informative to you. And uh, good luck and thanks for watching.